So I'm here with a very distinguished person in the African American community and in the United States, former Mayor Andrew Young, and uh, also the former ambassador to the United Nations. Uh, we are happy to have you. Um, we are here at this Clinton Global Initiative, uh, the last one, and we'd like you to make a few comments or comment. Well, I tell you what, I came to the first one, and I've been to several of them in between, but this is a wonderful experience because what I find is that poor people from all over the world who are doing things to help poor people, and some very, very rich people, and some corporations all come together basically because they want to make the world a better place. And the agenda is to see how we can help each other. And um, I always get um, some good ideas, meet some interesting people, and every now and then for many people, uh, it turns out to be very good partnerships for them. That uh, solve problems or uh, you know helping business. So this leaves a big vacuum, indeed. You know. Well, it really doesn't, because I think uh, President Obasanjo in Nigeria is opening his his uh, conference center uh, in March of next year, and I think a lot of the kind of things that happen here will start to happen in Africa, and that'll be good. Awesome. And. Um, Maybe some of the same people will come. Uh, you never know, because uh, the challenges of the world in the rest of your lifetime are probably mostly going to be African. And there'll be up close to a billion Nigerians before long. Uh, and uh, that will, when we finally discovered that there were a billion Chinese, uh, we got very interested in China and helped China and we worked with China and now China and I, even though we're competitors, uh, they still, uh, we still work together on everything. And I think that's the way it should be and would be with Nigeria. Because there are a number of them, the, the largest, the two largest em employers on the African continent are American companies. Uh, Coca-Cola is the largest, and um, I think Chevron, the oil company, is second. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, thank you. so we'll, we'll be involved some kind of way. Definitely. So okay. do you, what challenges do you see as facing the African continent as we know it, considering... Uh, well, you got, you got to realize that you can make more money in a growing economy than you can steal in a dying economy. And when you're trying to keep people down, other people down, you're keeping your... Dr. King used to say, you cannot keep a, a man down in the gutter unless you keep one foot down there with him. When you let your brother up out of the gutter, you get up too. And people have been trying to take care of themselves and um, it doesn't work that way. In uh, Atlanta, we took care of each other. And everything we do is rich and poor, black and white, young and old, male and female. And we're the fastest growing city in America. And people are bringing business there from all over the world. Because we're honest, we're safe, we're efficient. And that makes us profitable. And that's all people want. Thank you. Um, yeah. What do you consider to be the legacy of Martin Luther King, considering where we are today, you know, the struggle that you are part of in the past? Well, I think that we did very well on race and on war. The struggles we have today are all related to poverty. And... Um, we have not realized that. We still want to put them in a certain color. But whatever problem you have with, you know, for instance, we talk about a few black people being killed, which is terrible. But remember, for almost two or three years, the gun violence and the terrorism and assassination was white people shooting white people. And it's really a 
it's not about race it's about mental health and uh, a sense of <coughs> purpose and somebodyness when people don't respect themselves and don't feel respected they get frustrated and take out their frustrations on anybody and uh, you can call it Ku Klux Klan or you can call it ISIS but it's all the same thing it's mental illness do you have any message for the young generation especially because they're gonna be yeah. the leaders of tomorrow the, the one thing I have to say over over is what my daddy told me when I was four years old don't get mad get smart thank it, you former mayor Andrew Young it's a pleasure okay talking.